We've got some wild bunnies that we've seen in the garden and around our place. Two in particular, two little baby bunnies. And they have started doing some damage here in our raised beds. Our broccoli did not look like this this morning. Wendy just discovered it when we came back from a, a little road trip that we just took. The bunnies got into the raised beds and have just mangled our broccoli. All the little broccoli heads, a lot of the leaves right around the middles, they've just chowed down on. This one they overlooked, so I'm gonna come back and harvest that for ourselves while we still can. There's another little one over here that they haven't gotten. But we still need to wait and let that one get a little bigger. So hopefully the rabbits don't eat that one. But look at this, I mean, it's just, they ate the tender leaves and all the good broccoli that was just starting to shoot up. I really don't want to put a fence around our garden to keep animals out. It may come to that. But for the time being, I think we'll probably set out some live traps try to catch these rabbits and rehome them. We believe it's just those two baby bunnies that just live here in our yard that are doing this damage. So hopefully if we get rid of those, then the problem that we're having here won't keep repeating. We haven't had this problem in years past, so I'm hoping that will take care of it. What should we bait it with? Okay, good. We baited that trap with some tender lettuce that Wendy's growing in our green stalk in the back patio. And we put in some nice tender leaves from the broccoli that they've already eaten. We know they like that. Hopefully, they'll take the bait and get trapped in there. We'll see in the next few days if we've got rabbits. Well, nothing has set off our trap yet. Unfortunately, whatever's been eating from our raised beds here has now gotten Wendy's radicchio. I'm gonna see if I can't Harry Potter this situation using my magic wand, I'm gonna try and restore the plants to their previous state. Let's see if it works. Radiclio. Great. Now the trap's gone.
Maybe I was saying it wrong. I'm not sure what's wrong with this thing. We'll give it one more try. Ridiculio. Where'd you come from? And now the magic wand is gone. Yeah. This isn't one of the wild bunnies. This is one of our bunnies. That magic wand wasn't really working right anyways. We have set up the trail camera so we can try and capture at least be able to see what's been going on out here. See what kind of an animal has been eating from our raised beds. It's a big difference if it's a rabbit versus a deer. messy either. That's it. It's all the salad. So clearly some of our animals are supposed to be eating from the garden. It's just these animals that are eating what they shouldn't be that really, really is a bother for us. It's, it's okay, Rogue. It's okay, Valkyrie. You can eat from the garden when Wendy feeds it to you. You have to wait for Wendy to feed it to you, though. Here's some footage from that trail camera from a little earlier. It shows a possum on our back deck. I'll follow it up with some clips of what we've been catching out here with the trail camera.
camera managed to catch Wendy as well, working on the back deck with our goats. Little Stormtrooper did manage to set that trap off, but he wasn't caught in it. Sorry, little dude. You're gonna have to find a new home. We're going to move this possum somewhere far away, but because they're nocturnal, we're going to do it closer to the evening when it'll have a little better chance to skedaddle and find a good place to hide and hang out rather than doing it in the middle of the day when it would just have to hunker down in some ditch somewhere maybe. We're putting him here in the shade so it won't be too uncomfortable on this fairly warm spring day. I'm not real confident that removing one possum is gonna solve our problem for us. As you can see, a rabbit did investigate the bait in the trap. It might be a little harder to catch the rabbits than the possums. We never really saw a rabbit inside the garden beds. So maybe it was possums eating from the garden, but we caught that possum using tuna flavored cat food, not goodies from the garden. We will keep resetting this trap and removing the animals that we do catch. If this doesn't work, I can always build the fencing that I was talking about 
but instead of a really big perimeter fence, I would start by using chicken wire and two by two stakes to build fence panels just to stick right inside the edges of the raised beds. And hopefully they'd be difficult enough for those animals to climb up and over to get to the garden. I'm not gonna be doing that yet. I'll let you know in a future video if I have to do that. Thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing out here, please do hit that subscribe button.